Hello students, in this video we are going to see about long channel IV characteristics derivation. So first, in this long channel IV characteristics, we have uh, derived the relationship between current that is output current IDS, drain source current and then input voltage uh, VGS which is gate source voltage. Okay, uh, if for three regions of operation that MOS transistor will act when we given the external voltage in gate terminal. So, in the MOS transistor have three regions of operations there are cutoff region. In this region the transistor is an off condition because no channel will be formed. Okay. Uh, next one is a linear region. In this linear region, the transistor will be in on condition. Okay, the channel is formed through the channel. The electrons will flow from source to drive. And then third one is saturation region. In this region, pinch of near drain will happen. So this will uh, um, create the uh, saturation level of uh, IDS uh, in in the increase of uh, VGS. Okay, so mass transistor are uh, referred as voltage controlled switch because this mass trans transistor will be controlled by the uh, given input voltage in the gate terminal. Okay, so the mass transistor are known as voltage controlled switch. The uh, voltage given in the gate terminal VGS controlled the operation of uh, mass transistor in which IDS the output current is the important parameter which determines speed of the switch. So we have to scale the um, output current uh, to improve the speed of the switch. This um, um, IDS which is a, a drain source current depends on channel length okay which is represented as capital L and then channel width which which is uh, notated as uh, capital W VT is nothing but threshold voltage T aux thickness of the oxide layer below the gate uh, metal and then E aux permittivity of the oxide uh, layer and then mu mu is the uh, mobility of the charge carrier okay next First one is cutoff region. In this region, we give VGS is equal to 0, which is less than threshold voltage. Threshold voltage is nothing but the necessary voltage to uh, is needed for the transistor to switch on the uh, device. Okay, uh, So, VGS is given as 0, which is less than threshold voltage. In this uh, condition, no channel will be formed between uh, source and drain terminal. Uh, you can see uh, between the N, uh, N plus which is source, source terminal and then uh, drain there, is, there will be a positive holes is present which is P type body. No channel is inverted between the source and drain. Okay, So, no conduction is uh, um, will be happen. So, IDS is equal to 0. Okay, Then next one is linear region. First, uh, we can explain about the uh, what what are the types of um, MOS transistor operations that is uh, three regions and then we get into the uh, derivations. Okay, In this region, uh, we can give the uh, VGS is less than VT. If uh, the threshold voltage is 0 0.7 means we give 0 0.5 as VGS. So, the threshold voltage is less than VGS given input voltage and VDS the drain uh, source uh, voltage is VGS minus VT we will give. In this, uh, um, re in this condition IDS uh, the output uh, drain source current depends on number of charge in the channel and velocity of the char uh, charge. Okay, uh, in this condition channel forms uh, you can see the um, or uh, you can see the uh, bridge like structure between uh, source and drain uh, which is represented as a dash dash which is uh, my, uh, negatively charged electrons. Okay, this uh, channel forms and current flows from drain to source. Uh, this is a conventional current which is opposite to the flow of electrons like flow of electrons will flow from source to drain and the conventional current flow from drain to source which is uh, opposite in nature. Okay, uh, next one the IDS increases with a uh, uh, VDS. So, this region is known as linear region. Okay, if we increase the IDS in linear region, we have to increase the VGS value. Uh, sorry, VDS value. In this region, MOS transistor act as a parallel plate capacitor. 
uh, the parallel plate capacitor means uh, we have we need two parallel uh, plate capacitors separated by a insulated layer in this uh, mos transistor gate terminal uh, is uh, act as a one pa parallel plate and then uh, channel is act as an another parallel plate which is separated by a oxide layer sio2 okay so this structure gate sio2 which is oxide layer and then um, channel uh, layer uh, acts as a parallel plate capacitor so uh, this is the equation so we have first uh, this in for the parallel plate capacitor the capacitance is proportional to the area over thickness okay so q channel uh, the q channel is the charge present in the uh, channel which depends on the capacitance and then uh, velocity okay so c uh, q channel is equal to cv which is represented as equation number one c is equal to uh, Cg which is gate capacitance which is equal to uh, permittivity of the oxide uh, layer and then uh, width of the channel and the uh, sorry width of the gate and the L of the uh, length of the gate divided by T ox which is thickness of the oxide layer okay so this uh, term uh, E ox divided by T ox is uh, mentioned as E ox which is uh, capacitance of the oxide layer so we have to substitute the E ox uh, uh, value in the present in the place of E ox divided by T ox so the uh, C will be C ox into W L which is uh, mentioned as uh, equation number 2 you can see the explanation and uh, notations in the images also and then charge is carried by electron the carrier velo uh, velocity V proportional to lateral electric field between source and drain so v is directly proportional to e v is nothing but carrier velocity and the capital e is nothing but el lateral electric field okay so in the place of a proportional symbol we introduced some constant value so that uh, we can get v is equal to mu e mu is nothing but mobility of the carrier okay so here electron is the carrier so uh, we introduce mu okay then uh, e is equal to vds divided by l okay then we have to substitute e value that is uh, vds divided by l in the um, equation number 3 v is equal to mu e so we can get v is equal to mu vds divided by l okay so finally we can uh, get c in equation number 2 and v in equation number 5 we have to substitute equation 2 and 5 in equation number 1 which is uh, q channel is equal to cv okay in the place of c we have to substitute the equation number 2 we have to substitute uh, um, v value in the uh, in the place of v in equation number 1 finally we can get q channel is equal to c ox w l which is nothing but c mu vds divided by l which is e va v value okay so final this q channel equation is q, uh, equation number 6 so this is uh, time taken by carrier electron to cross the channel uh, we have uh, the electron must have to uh, cross the channel from source to drain uh, uh, there must be a time taken by the electron that is t is equal to l the length of the channel divided by v velocity of the channel so v is equal to vgc minus vt the vgc in the uh, uh, place of vgc we have to substitute vgs minus vds divided by 2 okay so finally we can get v is equal to vgs minus vds divided by 2 minus vt which is mentioned as equation number 8 we know ids depends on how much of charge present in the channel and how much time it takes to cross the channel okay so finally ids is equal to q channel divided by t uh, we already uh, find out the q channel equation and the t equation in the previous equations we have to substitute equation 6 and 7 in equation 9 so finally we get ids is equal to c ox wl mu vds divided by l divided by l by v the l this l by v is nothing but value of t which is refer in the equation 7 okay we can uh, cross out uh, capital l and uh, divided in capital l and then uh, we get ids is equal to c ox wl no, sorry w mu vds divided by l into v in the place of v we have to substitute the uh, value equation of v which is referred as equation number 8 so in the next step we have to substitute equation 8 in 10 now, so finally we get ids is equal to mu c ox w divided by l vgs minus vt minus vds divided by 2 into vds which is referred as equation number 11 and then we introduced some constant value beta is equal to uh, mu c ox w by l 
we have to substitute this beta value in the place of mu c ox w by l in 11th equation. So finally we get ids is equal to beta vgs minus vt minus vds divided by 2 into vds which is the final ids equation current equation uh, and current relations between um, voltage which is vgs and ids in the linear region. So this is the saturation region derivation. So in this region, uh, the given uh, uh, VD, VGD, which is a grain, uh, gate drain voltage is less than VT, the channel pinch off near the drain region, I already said. And VDS is uh, greater than uh, VD, sat the saturation region, which is equal to VGS minus VT. So in this region, we have to give VGS minus VT, which is uh, uh, which is known as uh, VD, VD sat. Okay, so uh, the drain voltage no longer increases uh, current IDS. So in this region, the saturation mm, happens. So VDS is equal to VGS minus VT. So we have to substitute the equation 14 in the linear region IDS equation. So uh, at, this, at, the, uh, at that uh, IDS equation, we have to substitute v VDS is equal to VGS minus VT in the place of VDS. So finally, we can... Mm, uh, take the LCM of VGS minus VT divided by 2 and then uh, uh, we have a minus we have a subtract the uh, subtract the 2 VGS minus VT minus VGS minus VT so finally we get IDS is equal to beta divided by 2 VGS minus VT the whole square so this is the final equation of uh, uh, drain source current uh, and the relationship between dry current and the voltage VGS in the saturation region so summary so, uh, in this uh, summary, uh, in this long channel IV characteristics, uh, we find out the relationship between uh, output current IDS and the input voltage VGS. Okay. So, cutoff region, the condition is VGS, the given input voltage is less than threshold voltage. So, we can get IDS is equal to 0 because uh, no conduction between source and drain. And then linear region, uh, we uh, give VDS is less than VD sat. Uh, we have to uh, give the drain source voltage is less than VD saturation current. And that point of time, IDS is equal to beta into VGS minus VT minus VDS divided by 2 into VDS. In the saturation region, we have to um, give the uh, VDS, that is drain source voltage is greater than saturation uh, drain voltage. So, we can get beta divided by 2 VGS minus VT the whole squared. So, this long channel IV characteristics is based on the VGS at in cutoff region and then given VDS, drain source voltage in linear and uh, saturation region. So, this is all about long channel IV characteristics. I hope uh, this uh, derivation is, will clearly understand for you from this uh, presentation. Thank you.